I don't normally swear in these videos, but man, Tom Wilson makes me come really close to doing so. So today, player safety, if you want to call it that, should be defender of the goon quarters or whatever, announced that Tom Wilson had been fined $5,000 for punching Pavel Buchnevich in the back of the head, and they don't even bat an eye to what he did to Artemi Panarin. Him punching Buchnevich in the back of the head was vicious too in its own right. And then on top of that, Panarin, okay, he goes into the scrum. Then Wilson grabs Panarin, body slams him down, uh, pretty much punches his head into the ice. It looked like he attacked him pretty good. Panarin's out for the season now. It doesn't sound like he'll be playing again this year. And Wilson goes to the box, and I don't know, he's trying to strike a pose for the Rangers, trying to show how big he is in the penalty box. Like, wow, you're so intimidating, Tom Wilson. You're, you're such a big, strong, tough guy beating up on someone who's five inches shorter than you and 50 pounds lighter than you. This is the problem with our game. And for me, star players don't get protected. It's, it's a league where... It just, it seems like the NHL is still bent on, oh, it's a big boys game, you gotta man up and take your lumps like a man. Well, you know what? Not everyone wants to get their head beat into the ice, okay? And Artemi Panarin, did, like, for people that think, well, if Panarin was going into a scrum, uh, he, he should have been prepared to deal with the consequences. Do you guys actually think Artemi Panarin was going in with the attention, yeah, I'm gonna go toe-to-toe, one-on-one, and fight Tom Wilson? No, he was just going in there because that's what players do. They go into the scrum, just kind of, I don't know, they get in there. Nothing usually really happens. Nothing serious usually happens. And then Wilson just totally attacks him. Like, it's unbelievable. And for him to only get five, a $5,000 fine is ridiculous. Shame on the NHL. Shame on Tom Wilson. Wilson should be suspended 15 to 20 games in my opinion because he is a repeat offender, a big time repeat offender. It seems like he's good for at least one suspension every year and now he's not getting suspended this year. Wow, and people who say, well, maybe the NHL just doesn't want to, you know, toy with the Capitals cup hopes in the playoffs because Wilson's an important piece. Well, too bad. Maybe Bozo had Wilson should have thought of that before he went and did his awful deed on the ice yesterday. Then we get another idiot on Twitter, Ryan Whitney from Spitting Chicklets. You guys know who he is, I'm sure. Most of you anyways. Uh, he's, you know, he's saying, oh, for the morons who think Wilson should be kicked out of the league, he just got, he got fined, didn't even get suspended, more or less, I'm paraphrasing his, uh, quote, and then he came out with, like, a stupid, short, little 15-second video or whatever. I mean, do I think Wilson should be kicked out of the league for this? No. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. But he should be paying a much heftier, uh, price than just $5,000, and I mean in terms of games, he should be out 15 to 20 games, I think that's very reasonable for what he did. And uh, Whitney, he's a bit of a cement head, let's be honest. I mean, he's a guy who, he seems to defend him and Paul Bissonnette. They do good work on their podcast, but though that whole crew, the Spain Chicklets crew, just seems to defend old-time hockey and more or less anything goes, kind of. And, you know, to, to see smaller players uh, get beat up and stuff like that, that, that seems to be okay. And that's just kind of a product of our league, I feel like, too, sometimes. And the reason why I think it's a product of our league, too, is because they don't do their due diligence at all, or they just choose not to. Uh, George Peros, again, he's a guy who beat people up for a living when he played the game, so I don't know if there's some bias there towards Wilson or what. Tom Wilson, uh, he's, a, he's a good player, as much as I hate to admit it. He's a good player. He's very solid for the Capitals. He could get you 20 goals, 40 to 50 points. It's not like he's just some bum on the ice, but he is a predator. He's... I, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but he's a piece of shit. Let's be honest. I, I mean, I, like I said, I don't swear in these videos, but that's probably the first time I've sworn. He's a piece of shit. There's no denying it. And for Caps fans, I know not all of you are defending him today, but for the ones who are, how can you defend this guy? Like, honestly, and if you're the Washington Capitals, maybe you need to reevaluate your organization's values and not have this guy wear an A on his sweater. In fact, you should put a G on his sweater for garbage or goon. Pick whatever you want the G to stand for. And the, the fact that he even wears an A on his chest is embarrassing. It's a disgrace to the Washington Capitals organization. They should have way more class than that. And for people who say, oh, well, the Rangers should have stood in there for their teammate. Well, who's really going to fight Tom Wilson on the Rangers? I mean, you know, Zabanjad's not going to do it. Uh, Buchnevich isn't going to do it. Like, they, that's just not who they are. They're not fighters. And speaking of Zabanajad, I mean, I'm paraphrasing his quote now. 
he said something along the lines of, oh, you'd expect players to have more respect for each other and stuff like that. And, you know, somehow, like, I, I don't know why I'm surprised by this. He said, of course, I'm paraphrasing. And he was alluding when he said, I'm not, I don't know why I'm surprised by this, alluding to Wilson's uh, history uh, of being an idiot and being a moron and being a predator, worst of all. Uh, there's one thing... There's one thing guys who play really hard and they can go over the edge a little bit. Maybe they're a little bit dirty sometimes. But then there's guys like Wilson who just seem to be looking for trouble and looking to be predators and just looking to be hated or, or something. I mean, maybe Tom Wilson just wants to become the most hated guy in hockey. Maybe that was his mission growing up where most young kids are uh, dreaming of being in the NHL. They're thinking, I want to be a great player someday and win a Stanley Cup. I think Tom Wilson was thinking, I just want to go out there and make a name for myself as being the most hated predator in the league to ever play the game. So there's my Tom Wilson rant. Please let me know what all of you think in the comment section below. I'll be very interested to hear. Uh, if you have a rebuttal for everything I've said too, if you disagree and, I don't know, somehow think Wilson uh, shouldn't have even got fined maybe, please let me know why you think that. I'd be interested to hear that as well. But do comment. I would love to hear, like I said, from all of you. Please like and subscribe and share this video as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.